Hi, I'm Edry from North Decatur, and thank you for joining us in our study of Acts. Today we're in the 14th chapter, the first seven verses. Paul and Silas are once again, no, Paul and Barnabas, excuse me, preaching the good news of Jesus Christ, and they start in the temple, and some folks receive that well, and some folks don't receive it so well. And the fellas go to the marketplace and preach the good news of Jesus Christ. Same story, different location. Yesterday, Patrick used the expression from the temple to the market square. And I think that expression is so apt and appropriate for our times now because we have gone from the sanctuary to the market square when we are telling about Jesus Christ. The situation is a little different, but it's a little of the same because we're out of the sanctuary. And, and yet we're still talking about the good news of Jesus Christ, as we should. So, Paul and Barnabas. Paul and Barnabas remind me of a fellow I met at seminary. He was a Vietnamese pastor, and he was a Vietnamese pastor in Vietnam in the 70s, when that was not legal. And he would get beat up and thrown in jail a lot for preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. And sometimes he would have an opportunity to share that message of Jesus Christ with his jailers who became followers of Jesus. And then he would get moved to another jail because the jailers were no longer going to be really structured in their discipline of him. And every time he was moved to another jail or had to present a sermon manuscript to a judge, he viewed it as, yes, this is hard, and yes, I get physically abused, but it's another opportunity to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. When I met him, he was no longer being physically abused by his jailers, but he carried the story with him. Uh, recently, as I heard many of the memorials to John Lewis, I realized Every time he was jailed, it was an opportunity to, if not, preach the good news of Jesus Christ. His good trouble was always about loving one's neighbor and moving toward a more perfect union with one's neighbor through advocating for civil rights. I wonder if every time he went to jail, he thought, well, this is another opportunity to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Every time Paul and Barnabas got into a scuffle and escaped town with the skin on their backs, I wonder if they thought, oh, this is how we move the gospel of Jesus Christ forward to another community. This is how we share the word. It wasn't an easy way of life. Tron's way wasn't easy. John Lewis's way wasn't easy. A lot of our ways aren't so easy either. But what we have with us every step of the way is the good news of Jesus Christ. And we always have some place to share that even when we are more isolated. A smile goes a long ways. Offering to pray for somebody goes a long ways and following through with that prayer. Even the forum we're on, Facebook or YouTube, another opportunity, another way 
to bring the gospel of Jesus Christ to a group of people who may not have even darkened the door of the sanctuary. What an opportunity. Thank you for being part of this journey. You are cordially invited to like us or comment in the Facebook comment section or share us with someone who needs a good word but doesn't need to get beat up with the Bible. Times are hard. And no matter what the problem, Jesus is part of the answer. Take care of yourselves. I long to see you in person sometime soon. And when I see one of you in person, I get way excited. Until we meet face to face, be well, be loved as the wonderful child of God you are. Bye.